What about funerals and weddings? Well, I'll be honest with you, we haven't had either of those yet at our house church. We've been in a house church now for a number of years. Haven't had any funerals yet. Praise the Lord for that. And we haven't had anybody get married. So what do you do? Well, as far as funerals are concerned, a lot of funeral parlors have a place where you can conduct a small service. Um, whoever the pastor of your house church is, the overseer, uh, he can conduct a little service there if one of the members dies or a family member or something like that. Uh, or you can also have do it the old-fashioned way, have a grade side service. Uh, it's pretty powerful either way. It's a good opportunity to to uh, get in a word of witness to unsaved relatives that would be there. Um, so that's something that you can consider. As far as weddings are concerned, uh, again, uh, that's something that you're going to have to study on your own. We don't have that much experience with it. I'll just be honest with you. Uh, you could probably get a um, marriage license. I know some people are against that. Again, I haven't done enough study to really comment on that. Um, but you could probably get a marriage license and then conduct a service someplace, rent a big building, or have the service outside, uh, have the marriage ceremony outside. Again, back to the Bible. Where is it at in the Scriptures? What did they do? Okay, this thing of, well, you don't have a church building and you're not you're right, you know, because you can't conduct weddings and things. The Bible's the standard. It's not in Scripture. It's not a sin to not have a big church wedding and things like that. Okay, it's fine. It's not a sin to have it, but then it's not a sin to not have it either. So watch out for the traditions of men. A lot of people get very particular about these traditions. But let's move on to the next point. All right, in this section I want to talk about outreach and evangelism. Okay, now there are many things that you can do to get the gospel out to people. Uh, of course, gospel tracts, here you have a variety of chick tracts. They're some of the best out there. And you don't have to worry about new versions or whatever. Here's actually a tract attacking the new versions, defending the King James Bible. Um, Jack Chick is, is very good doctrinally. I highly recommend Jack Tick Tracks, and they also have uh, the comic books. Comic books like like uh, Sabotage here, they have many of them, uh, also very good. Um, there was a local church here in this area, our local area, where they sent out all one of these, the good news, it's a, it's a plan of salvation. It's very good doctrinally, has the King James Bible that it quotes. And uh, they sent one to everybody's mailbox and uh, sent them out. Also a good idea. You can send tracks in the mail. Uh, just, you know, you're not paying for a building as a house church. You're not paying a mortgage. You're not paying all these other things. So you can afford to buy lots of tracks like that and send them out. Get the gospel distributed. Another thing that you can do, here's something that we have put together. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a whole pack of information, and we buy these door hanging bags. There's a little hole here that you can hang this on a doorknob. And we go out Saturday mornings, and many times we'll pass out hundreds of these things. Just go through a neighborhood, go up to the door. You don't even have to talk to anybody most of the time. Hang it on the door. Sometimes you'll, people will be out. You can get into a conversation with them. That's another option that you can do. DVDs. Uh, there are some ministries that provide videos, uh, DVDs, that you can make copies of. Some of them are copyrighted, of course, be careful of that. But there are others that are not copyrighted, and you can make copies and you can hand them out to people. That's also another great ministry opportunity. Booklets, there are a lot of little booklets that you can buy. Here's one on Islam, um, also very good. Uh, Terry Watkins, Dr. Terry Watkins has lots and lots of these tracks, uh, just many subjects available, and those are also very good that you can send to people, that you can give out to people. Uh, 
many things that you can do with gospel tracts. Uh, you can also go door to door, actually going up, knocking on the door, and talking to people about uh, salvation. You can preach on the street. Uh, we've done this occasionally. We haven't done it as much as we should, but uh, it is another way to get the, the truth out to people. You can also get a P.O. box. Okay, We have one, Bible Believers Fellowship, P.O. box, uh, 118, I believe it is, Hopeland, Pennsylvania, 17533. You can get the same thing. You can get a, a P.O. box, call yourself Bible Believers Fellowship, or whatever you feel the Lord wants you to, to name your house church as, or you don't even have to have a P.O. box or a name for your house church. You can just meet together. It's up to you. But uh, if you're going to be involved in evangelism, you should have a way that people can get in contact with you. Okay? Just another idea. Uh, something else that you can do is get a website. Uh, they're not that hard to, to build. There are many things, webs, I think is what we are through. And you can actually get on there and they have templates that you can go and they can have everything pre-designed. You don't have to know a lot about computers to get it. And uh, you can put articles on it. You can put video links to websites. You can do a lot of things like that with a website. It's very good um, to have internet ministry. You can reach a lot of people. I think right now, at last count, uh, we've had contact with people in 48 states here in America and 42 countries around the world. And, I mean, it's just amazing the amount of people that you can get in contact with through the Internet. Alright, another thing that you can do is you can record your messages that you put together. You can get a little voice recorder like this one here. And you can actually record your messages to MP3 format and then you can put it on to the computer and upload it to a uh, website like sermonaudio.com. Um, there are other ones that you can do where you can actually have uh, MP3 sermons made available for people so that they can hear the messages that you record. Another thing that you can do, which is a lot of people do it, is uh, you can actually make videos for YouTube. Uh, YouTube has millions of visitors, millions of viewers every day. Uh, millions and millions of viewers. Actually, YouTube rivals a lot of the mainstream media. And you can get on there, very simple. You can make videos. And you can buy cheaper little camcorders like this one. This is a JVC Averio, I think it's what it's called. And you can record video. You get a tripod like I'm using right now. And um, you can make videos pretty easily. And uh, another one here I want to show quick. This is very easy to use. This is a called a Vado HD high definition little camera. Very small little thing. Very easy to use. You push the power button here. You push the record button there. And you can literally walk around like this recording yourself looking at the lens and you can record a video. You don't even need a tripod with this little thing. And then you plug it in with this USB right here. You plug it into your computer and you take the video right off of it and it actually has a feature where it can upload directly to YouTube. Okay, of course you need high speed internet connection for that. So that's, if you don't have that, well that's probably not going to work for you. But uh, another option just something to think about. And I actually know a guy on YouTube that many times all he does is he turns on his camera and then he'll just open up his King James Bible and he'll read a chapter or two and make a comment occasionally. It's ministry. People see that. Okay, and then if, if you want to get into video there and you want to take it to the next level, you can get some movie software. This is getting a lot cheaper. It was very expensive in the past, but you can find these used now. This is uh, Sony Vegas Movie Studio. Uh, it's, you can, it's amazing the things that you can do, not only with video, but also with audio. I use Sony Vegas to um, edit sermons. If there's uh, I mess up a reference or something like that, you can go in and just cut it right out. It's also very handy for, for working on videos. Um, there are some good DVDs available. Amazon.com has a lot of good information on how to use the Vegas Movie Studio software. 
a, just a lot of great ideas and things now that we have the technology on the internet. Um, what about missionaries? Well, I'm sure that there are missionaries out there that would love to be supported and you know, are, would love to have you help them as a small house church. There again, get in contact with some mission organizations. Make sure they're King James Bible believers. Of course, there's another way on the internet. You can have, you can go to forums, you can go to these blogs, and you can write back and forth with people. You can give them scriptural answers. There's, you know, if you're not into the door-to-door -door thing and not into actually talking to people, I know that that's difficult. I'm not real great at it. Uh, I do it occasionally, but it's not one of my stronger points. But internet ministry, it's... I'm in contact with people from all over the world. I enjoy it very much. And uh, you can write the scriptures out to them. You can send them scriptures. You can send them links to different websites. Go check this out. There's a lot of ministry potential online right now. A lot of it. But uh, you have to keep in mind, as a house church, what is the purpose? Why are you meeting together. If you have a little group there that you meet together, what is the purpose of God giving you life? What is the purpose? Why are you here on this earth? Well, it's to go out and evangelize the lost. To tell them about Jesus Christ. To preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And there are a lot of different ways that you can do that. But don't fall for the trap that is the modern church where you stop going out to the lost and you build a building and then expect the lost to come to you. The Lord never intended for that. And that's also another reason why I'm for house churches and not so much for the church building. Because a lot of people, they go and they're part of their church building and they think that that makes them spiritual and that that makes them right with the Lord. Uh, you got to be careful of that. Another great ministry, which I almost forgot to mention, of course, is going and visiting the sick. You can go to nursing homes, you can go to hospitals. Um, that's also a great ministry. And I think that there are some people that are very good at that and going and, and speaking a word of encouragement to the elderly or to people that are sick. Um, so that's another thing that you can do in ministry. Also, uh, prison ministry. There are some of the brethren that are very good at that. That's another great ministry that I recommend. There are many things that you can do for the Lord. Something that I do want to mention um, also is that if you go to visit with somebody, if you have, through your church, you get a contact of somebody saying, I want you to come and visit with us and we'd like, I'd like to talk to you about salvation or whatever, make sure that the pastor does not go by himself. Okay, if it's a woman that wants to meet with the pastor, then the pastor and his wife should go um, if it's a man that wants to meet with the pastor, then you should have the, the pastor and another man from the church to go and visit. You know, the wife can go along as well. But it's important that you team up when it comes to going to visit with the lost, uh, not only to keep uh, you from getting into trouble, but also just as a way to have two people there to witness in case they try to frame you or whatever, try to make it... Uh, set you up or something. You should have two people there. That's very important. 